I'm going to open the ultimate crate. Oh, I got a spawner. Creeper spawner! Oh! That's like the best possible thing. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm the World Explorer, and you see right here, this is our base. We just had to whip something up really, really quickly in a short time notice just because someone, I guess, was watching my Let's Play, and I had my coordinates on the screen for maybe, like, a frame or something, and I actually didn't realize that it was there, and they're just like, oh, we're going to raid you or whatever. So, uh, they didn't really do that much. It was just annoying, but... Uh, fortunately, we had these walls here to protect us, and it wasn't really that big of a deal. He TP'd in a ton of people, but um, I guess it's not that big of a deal. So you see up here, we have done a, a lot of stuff to the walls, and we actually probably have, let me count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 walls. We still have to... Uh, destroy this obsidian here, then we'll officially be 10 walls, but what I'm thinking on doing is actually converting some of these wraparounds to anti-left shooter walls, just because I think it would be better and more protective, and then also if you can see, let me just go into F5 mode, so I don't have to go all the way over there, you see on the very uh, top of my screen, we have some other walls, and they're not as long as the others. That's just because we don't really need um, extremely long walls, and we're probably going to have shorter walls right there, and it's pro probably uh, going to slab them too. As you see, we have absolutely no slabs uh, right here. Um, I'm thinking of maybe slabbing at the ocean, but I might consider slabbing actually at bedrock. I'm not a hundred percent sure on what I want to do yet. Okay, so let's actually get to the main point of this episode, which is making the interior. And you see right here, we are just right under the base. And this is probably where we are going to actually have our mob spawners. And I'm thinking of actually making them right in the corner here. Of course, we will have to patch up these walls, but we can do that a little bit later. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a little time lapse here and that's just because it took forever to build um yeah it took quite a long time and you see right here i'm just filling in the main foundation for the blaze spawner area and here i'm just building walls probably not the most efficient method uh right there but uh we definitely got it done especially since three people were working on it at the same time and of course it's uh, not that high either, so it doesn't really matter that much. And you see right here, we are fully, or the uh, box is fully made, and we're just trying to get the water to work 100% right. We had quite a few issues, and as you see right here, we were <laughs> trying to see what the problem was and where the center point was, but we couldn't find the center point because we did... Uh, one block wrong and we spent forever trying to figure out what the problem was and it was just because we placed water in the wrong place I guess or something like that but eventually found it here we are just making some fence gates we eventually turned them into signs as you will see a little bit later there uh, were a little bit of problems with that and uh, right here we're just trying to get down and build our little grinder area and uh, here I actually sort of made a platform around it. I'm not exactly sure why. And I put slabs there. And I actually turned them into chests a little bit later. Because chests are a lot higher up than slabs. So uh, when blazes fire at you, it's a lot uh, less likely chance that they will actually hit you. And you see here I'm just building the area where you can drop down right into the blaze spawner area. And here is our <laughs> really bad... Um, spawn area which we will definitely uh, redo very very soon and tell me if you like my design I'm not the best designer but here are my redstone lamps I might change it into quartz a little bit later when I actually get um, either the money enough to do that or if I just go in the nether probably not going to buy any quartz because they cost like a bazillion dollars 
And actually what was funny is I didn't build a little structure around the levers outside, so uh, some people who were sort of trolling were turning them off, so I had to build a platform around them and turn them back on. Okay. I hope it works. So which one do you have? The one that I am placing the cobblestone? Yeah. Okay, you have cobblestone, I have netherrack. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Spawner. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh no. no. <laughs> there oh, no. I, I have, I don't have armor. I'm dead. Get out. I died. <laughs> I, I have your stuff. I didn't have armor on, so. I'm gonna TP to you. Oh, wait. We can drop down. Can Oh, for some reason, water just came down. Was that you? Oh, uh, no. I didn't break that. I just... No. No, that wasn't me. Um. Please don't tell me there's something wrong. Oh, wait. There's two blocks open. Dude. Oh, wait. No. Never mind. That's... Okay, there. No, there's something wrong. Are the fences... <laughs> They are, they are open. No, not the fences might have burned. They burn. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're burning right now. It looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, there's someone above. Oh, it's Jack attack. Okay, that was actually pretty scary. Okay, so there are a lot of people outside of the base, as you probably uh, heard me say a little bit ago. And I think it is time to make some health potions and maybe get some good armor. So let's try to fill all of these up with some water bottles, then get some nether warts and gunpowder and all of that stuff to make those uh, instant health to splash potions. And I think I might actually have to make two rounds here to some water because I don't think we will have enough to fill all of that stuff up. But that's okay. I think I'll also probably... Uh, boost my alchemy skill a lot. Probably going to be focusing on MC MMO a lot in the future, especially alchemy, because you can get a lot of cool new potions, and I do want a few of them. Okay, so it looks like we have pretty much all of the potions, uh, and they are done brewing. Let's just make a quick chest so we can put all of our uh, instant health two into that chest and then we can give them out to all of the other people in our faction and we can have a big fight probably. So let's just spam this into the chest. Um, looks like we're almost done here. Probably five more brewing stands. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Um, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's see. I think there's there's a way to put all of your stuff in the chest at the same time, but I don't think I can do that. Okay, there. There I did it. Have to master that down. Okay, almost done here. Have a little bit of lag here. And... Great, looks like we have all of the instant health potions, and let's do some PvP. He is here. Okay, I'm drinking my pots. I'm coming. I have to get some pots. I'm coming to save you. Actually, I don't know if you need that much help. Let's see. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Did you kill him? Um, no, he's still there. Should I come? I'm or is sure. That a, or is it like a distraction? I'm getting him. I'm not sure if he has Depth Strider 3. I'm not sure if I should. Let's see. Oh. He's, How did he's you, 40, you... 48, 39, 18. Six. Did you guys get up there? Oh, I killed him. Okay, so you see, I am in the last man standing right now, and I was pretty much just up on this little hill here just shooting everybody it was a little bit boring so I had to cut out some clips but uh, I have all of the important and really fun stuff to watch 
uh, right here. Next episode, I'll try to have less uh, cuts and probably more time of me talking, more PvP, all of that good stuff. Okay, okay. Panhead is talking about me. Really? Yeah, he said I got some good shots on you. I still have six hearts, so... Wow. And I've only lost two hunger bars because I, I haven't really been open the ultimate crate. Oh, I got a spawner. Creeper spawner. Oh, that's like the best possible thing. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Now everybody's teaming on me. Seriously. Oh, and I, ju I just got someone. And I have four hearts now. So that's pretty much it. Make sure to slap that like button. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe for more faction.